This week, our Preserving West Virginia series takes us to Marion County. The Mannington train depot was once a big part of that city's past, especially during the Civil War era. Kelsey Pape learned what the city is now doing to bring it back to life. If we were in the 1800s, it would be pretty safe to say that this building right here would look pretty different. The Mannington train depot closed its doors in 1957 after more than 100 years in service. It was placed on the endangered list in 2011, and the Preservation Alliance of West Virginia has stepped in to save it. We have very few buildings left in town. Um, we did suffer the fire, which many know about. We've lost a lot of our historic buildings. This sits right in the middle of, uh, this middle of our town, and it's very important that we don't let this one go into disarray also. The original depot was a strategic stronghold during the Civil War, serving as a place soldiers would say final goodbyes to their family before heading off to war. After that, it did serve as a passenger train, so, and believe it or not, I still run into people that have those memories of, of getting on the train and riding to Pittsburgh, so it's pretty neat. It's important to the community. Nonprofit organization Mannington Main Street acquired the building in 2012 and is working to transform it into a business incubator. Being a viable part to the city and creating something to where the businesses would be able to learn while they are starting their businesses up at a low cost. Restoring the building isn't going to happen overnight, but the work has already begun. All other work can begin after the inflow. Make sure that the roof is, is, is uh, waterproof, the roofing system, gutters, downspouts, um, make sure that the, uh, you know, the windows are sound, all of that, and uh, then you can start work on the inside. The revitalization is going to take a lot of money, grants, and time. When it's something that's really worth it, you do everything to make it happen. But if there is nothing for them to come back to see, what are they going to come back for? If nothing else, the Mannington Train Depot is a representation of industry that is no longer in that region. For Preserving West Virginia, I'm Kelsey Pape. You can see our past Preserving West Virginia pieces online at WBOY.com. We'll be right back with Jason and that improving forecast. Thanks for watching 12 News.